What is going on guys? Welcome back to my first NBA 2K17 rebuilding video and in this one I'll be doing the Memphis Grizzlies led by star Mike Conley in that humongous contract he signed in the offseason four years 118 million dollars definitely overpaid to say the least I'll keep him as long as I financially can but let's take a look at the rest of this team here We got Mike Conley, Marcus Gasol, Zachary Randolph, Chandler Parsons Tony Allen, Brendan Wright, Vincent Lamar Carter, Jermichael Green, James Ennis, Jarrell Martin, Troy Daniels, Wade Baldwin, Deontay Davis, Jordan Adams, and Andrew Harrison. Now, like I said, let's go take a look at their financial situation. Besides Mike Conley, it's pretty ugly. Huge contracts here. Three big contracts to Conley, Parsons, and Gasol. They're probably all going to be gone eventually at the end of the video, but we'll see about that. I'll keep Randolph because it's an expiring contract, and other than that, everything seems tradable, or I can just consume their contracts with no problem whatsoever. Let's go into the rotation here, the starting five, as well as the bench. We got Conley, Tony Allen, Chandler Parsons, Randolph, Gasol, and Wright, Carter, and Green, and the rest of the guys off the bench. Let's go into my trades here. First trade, Zach Randolph and Chandler Parsons are going to the Raptors for Jonas Valanciunas and Damari Carroll. Then right away, I ship off Carroll and Troy Daniels to the T-Wolves for Shabazz Muhammad and Cole Aldrich. Then I trade Brendan Wright and two second round picks over to the Kings for Ben McLemore. I trade Aldrich and a second round pick to the Hornets for Cody Zeller. And the biggest trade here, I trade Marcus Saul and James Ennis to the T-Wolves for Andrew Wiggins. And we get Demario Carroll back. Now once again, I'm trading Demario Carroll and Tony Allen to the Kings for Aaron Follow, And we're getting back Brendan Wright. Finally, we trade Brendan Wright to the T-Wolves for Tyus Jones. Now take a look at this new revamped lineup. We've got Conley, Aflalo, Andrew Wiggins at the three, Jamichael Green, and Jonas Valanciunas at the five. The bench got a little bit improved, but let's go into the season here. At the end of the year, number one, MVP is Russell Westbrook with 29 points, nine and a half boards, 11 assists, three and a half steals, and half a block, just a monster season. Rookie of the year goes to Ben Simmons of 12 points, 8.5 boards, 5.5 assists, 2 steals, and 1 block for the Sixers. Sixth man goes to Brendan Knight who had 16.5 points, 3 boards, 5.5 assists, 1.5 steals. And a horrible shooting season. And defensive player of the year goes to Hassan Whiteside who had 15 points, 14 rebounds. Half an assist and three blocks per game. Most improved player goes to Zach Levine, who had 17 points, three boards, five assists, a steal, and half a block. And coach of the year goes to Terry Stotts of the Portland Trail Blazers, who went 58 and 24. Here are all NBA defensive and rookie teams. I don't expect anyone from our team to be here. And looks like I am right with Tony Allen. Got traded to the Kings. Yep, so we don't have him anymore. Philadelphia has three players in the all-rookie team. That is just crazy. And here we go to the playoffs here. Unfortunately, we did not make it. We went 33-49 and 49 over the course of the season. Just an absolute uglier. Offense was fourth worst. And our defense was just as bad at the bottom of the league. Near the bottom of the league. Player stats, Wiggins led the team in scoring with 17, 18 points, four boards, three assists, and a steal, and a block. Valanciunas had 15 points, 12 and a half boards, half an assist, and two blocks. Mike Conley had 14 points, four boards, 10 assists, and two steals. And Cody Zeller had 11 points, nine boards, two assists, and a block. And Aaron Aflalo had 10.5 points, 2.5 boards, 2 assists, and 1 steal. Now here we go. we got the 1 seed in the West. The Golden State Warriors going against the 1 seed in the East. Cleveland Cavaliers. Let's see if they both can make the NBA Finals. And 
Who do we got in the NBA Finals? We have... Looks like Golden State's going to make it. Oh, no, Golden State gets knocked out. And Portland sweeps Cleveland in the NBA Finals to take the NBA Championship. Your Finals MVP is Damian Lillard, who had 28 points, 3.5 boards, 9.5 assists, 1.5 steals, and 1 block with 4 turnovers per game. Yikes. So let's go into the offseason here. Let's get out of these playoffs and go right into player retirements here. And no one on our team retired. That's good to see. Now let's go into the draft lottery here. I know we have a decent pick. I think we have top five in the lottery protected. Sorry, top six. So if we get top six, a pick is ours. If not, it's going to Denver. So hopefully we get top six. Uh, we get the eighth pick, so it's going to Denver, which means we have no first first round pick in this draft. But I do believe we have a second round pick. So I'm going to simulate right into rookie signings and just going to sign him and move on from there. And our second round pick will be Rodney Purvis. I'll sign him. Why not? Let's get some youth on this team here. Team player options. Of course, I'm bringing Wiggins back. I'm not going to give an option to a follow, but I'll bring back Jones as well and Martin and Adams. There are your big names to claim their player options. Biggest, Kevin Durant. Qualifying offers. Got Green, Zeller, Muhammad, and McLemore. Uh, asking for a uh, pretty large qualifying offers if you ask me, but I'll probably sign them back with smaller deals. Aaron Follow wants a cheap deal, 1.75. I'll give him, you know what, so cheap, I'll give him four years and a player option. Let's just get him on this team. Everyone else wants a test free agency and Vince Carter. I'm not going to offer him a contract. He's 40 years old and won't contribute as much as I think he will. Uh, sorry, VC, you're gone. Okay, free agency. Let's see here. Look at a long list of players I offer a contract to. Stephen Curry already accepted another deal. So he's probably going back to Golden State, as he does right there. I do sign Zach Randolph and Serge Ibaka, two decent power forwards on this team. And look at that, everyone, all the big names pretty much went back to the teams they played for last year to sign monster deals. Now I'm trading my newly signed Serge Ibaka and Andrew Harrison to the Nuggets for Malik Bleasley and Jaron Blossom game. As well as I'm trading Zachary Randolph and three second round draft picks to the Pistons for Stanley Johnson. And finally, the biggest trade of all, Andrew Wiggins and a second round pick are going to the Knicks for Kristaps Perzingis. Now, you guys are probably asking to yourself, why am I doing this? Why could I possibly be doing this? Well, look at that. I have $32 million to work with for free agency. And there's one free agent whose contract didn't quite work out. And that guy's name is Mr. Kevin Durant. And we are signing him, Kevin Durant, as well as Tony Allen, Shabazz Muhammad, Andrew Bogut, and Ben McLemore to this team. This team is going to look absolutely deadly going into next season here. I'm getting out of free agency. I have no more money left. Anyways, let's go into my player progression. And there it is. Perzingis is progressing nicely as well as Stanley Johnson and the Young Guns there on the bottom as well. Now let's go into next season and see where they have us in the preseason rankings. 2K has us at 13th. Mark Spears has us at 8th, and NBA.com has us at 7th. Let's see a starting five. Look at this. Mike Conley, Tony Allen, Kevin Durant, Christos Porzingis, and Jonas Valanciunas is a starting five. And the bench looks decent as well. Very nice bench. My first trade here. We're at the trade deadline. Mike Conley and Jordan Adams are going to the Suns for Eric Bledsoe and Tyson Chandler. I can only handle Conley's contract for so long. And Tyson Chandler is going to the Lakers for Nick Young's expiring contract. At the end of year number two, Russell Westbrook is your MVP with 27.5 points, 10 boards, 12 assists, 4 steals, and 1 block. Yet another monster season. Dennis Smith is the rookie of the year with 9.5 points, 4.5 boards, Four and a half assists, half a steal, and one and a half blocks. Six man goes to Brennan Knight once again, who had 14 points, three boards, six assists, and one steal. Your defensive player of the year goes to LeBron James with 25 points, eight and a half boards, nine assists, three steals, and two blocks. Well deserving of that award. And your most improved goes to Ben Simmons with 13 points, 10 boards, seven and a half assists, two steals, and one block. 
And Coach of the Year goes to Billy Donovan of the 57-25 OKC Thunder. Here are your All-NBA, All-Defensive, and All-Rookie teams. Kevin Durant made the All-NBA second team for us. And that should be about it. No one else made the teams for us. No. Okay. Let's go into the playoffs here. We got a four seed in the West going 51 and 31. How's that fare up against the rest of the league? We were seventh overall with that record, 51 31. Offense was near the top, seventh best, but our defense was in the middle of the pack. Still needs some working on. Anyways, here we go. Player stats, of course. Kevin Durant led the team in scoring with 25 points, seven boards, three and a half assists, one and a half steals, and one block. Christos Porzingis had 19 points, eight and a half boards, one and a half assists, half a steal, and one block. Eric Bledsoe at 19 points, four boards, seven assists, two and a half steals, and a block. And Jonas Valanciunas at 14 points, ten and a half boards, one assist, and one and a half blocks. Now, let's get right into the playoffs here. We're going up against the Golden State Warriors, the 46 and 36 Warriors. We should handle them easily. We lose game one, and we lose game two. Oh, my goodness. And we're down 3-0 in the series. Are you kidding me? But we win game four. And we win game five. Are you kidding me? We win game six. We're going to a game seven back at home. And we come back from three down. Win four straight games to go on to the second round to play the Houston Rockets. The one-seeded Houston Rockets went 57-25. But we will take game number one. But we lose game number two. And we take game three. We're up 2-1 in the series. And we're up 3-1. Let's finish these guys off in their own building. And we do. And we're going on to play the Portland Trailblazers in the Western Conference Finals game number one. Here we go in Portland. And we take that one. 1-0. One -oh. We're up in the series. But Portland comes right back and takes game number two. But we take game three. We're up 2-1 in the series. And Portland comes back once again. Series is all tied up at two. And they take game five. And they eventually finish us off in six games to go on to play the Cleveland Cavaliers once again in the NBA Finals. But this time around, Cleveland gets their revenge and wins in seven games to take the NBA Championship. LeBron James is your Finals MVP with 27.5 points, 10 boards, 9 assists, 2.5 steals, and 1.5 blocks. Player retirements, uh, once again, no one on our team retired. Let's go right to rookie signing here. I know we have no draft picks, I believe. And we have one, actually one low pick, 24th overall. So we'll sign him. Player options here. We got Porzingis, Johnson, Baldwin, Blease, Lee, and Jones. We're going to bring all those guys back. Big names to climb are George, Anthony, Aldridge, and Jordan. Qualifying offers, there's none. My free agents. We got one, Nick Young. I'm going to let him walk anyways. Now free agency here. Big name is Paul George, but I only have seven million dollars to work with, which means I can only sign guys like this: Alfred Payton and Ersan Ilyasova. And we're trying to get Lou Will as well. And we get Lou Will for our depth, a shooting guard off the bench. Player progression. Here we go. Okay, team is looking nice. Przingis is now up to an 86, which should help over the course of next season. Let's go into the next season anyways and see where we are in the preseason rankings. 2K has us at 11th. Mark Spears has us at 5th. And NBA.com has us as 5th as well. Let's see a star in rotation now. Bledsoe, Tony Allen, Kevin Durant, Christos Porzingis, and Jonas Valanciunas with Johnson, Peyton, Baldwin, Jones off the bench. So LeBron James wins your MVP with 23 and a half points, eight boards, eight and a half assists, two and a half steals, and one and a half blocks. Rookie of the year goes to Clint Fletcher of the Bulls, who had 18 points, one board, six assists, and one and a half steals. Sixth man goes to Dario Saric of the Sixers with 13 points, seven boards, three and a half assists, one steal, and half a block. And LeBron James wins Defensive Player of the Year as well, who had 23 and a half points, eight boards, eight and a half assists, two and a half steals, and one and a half blocks. Most improved was a Denzel Valentine, who had 15 points, four and a half boards, three and a half assists. 
And Coach Lear goes to John Smith of the 62-20 Houston Rockets. Look out for them. Kevin Durant once again makes it all NBA first team for us. And anybody else? Yes, Kristaps Porzingis made the all NBA third team. Now, I don't believe anyone else from our team made the defensive or rookie teams. So let's get out of this and go right into the team stats as we went 52-30 and 30 on the year. Third best record in the West. Let's see how we compared overall to the whole league. We're fourth best record in the league. Our offense was fifth, but our defense was in the middle of the league. Now, player stats here. Kevin Durant led the team in scoring with 26 points, 7.5 boards, 5.5 assists, 1.5 steals, and 1 block. Christos Porzingis had 21 points, 10.5 boards, 1 assist, half a steal, and 1.5 blocks. Eric Bledsoe had 16 points, 3 boards, 6 assists, 3 steals, and 1 block. And finally, Jonas Valanciunas had 13.5 points, 11 rebounds, Half an assist and one and a half blocks. Here we go. Opening round against the OKC Thunder. The 46 and 36 Thunder. And we take game number one. The Thunder tied up about one game apiece. And they take a 2-1 series lead. They're up 3-1. Oh my goodness. Can we come back again? We take game five. Okay, please. We take game six, and we're going back to game seven at home, and we take care of business there as we move on to go against the Golden State Warriors. And we take game number one against Golden State, the 59-23 and Warriors. But, you know, we're up 2-1 in the series, and I don't think we can handle them as well. Oh, never mind. Never mind. The series tied up at two, but we take game number five, crucial game five, and we're going to a game seven in Golden State, and we take it. I don't believe it. How in the world did we take that game seven? I don't know, but we're going on to Western Conference Finals against the 62 and 20 Rockets. We split the first two games one apiece, and we take a 2 1 series lead. We take a 3 1 series lead. Let's finish them off in their own building, and we do. And we're going up against the second seeded Philadelphia 76ers. Let's take a look at their team. Who do they have besides Yavis, Simmons, and Okafor? They got. Paul Millsap and Yusef Nurkic. So they got Okafor, Millsap, Embiid, Noel, Nurkic, and Saric as their big man. Way too many big men. Really no point guard or shooting guard to be scared of. So I'm ready to take these guys on. Let's go into it. But before I do that, let's go take a look at my starting rotation. See if everyone's healthy and everyone's good. We got starting five of Bledsoe, Lou Will, KD, Porzingis, and Jonas Valanciunas. And here we go, game number one in Memphis, and we lose it. 110 to 98. Porzingis and Durant had big games. Bledsoe had a horrible shooting game. Stanley Johnson had a horrible shooting game, one of ten. And Valentunas only had four points. Now on their side, Bayless had a monster game. I don't know how he had 25 points. Game number two. And we take that one. 121 to 100. We had seven players in double figures. That should do it. On their side, Millsap and Simmons and Embiid had decent games. Game number three. We lose that one. I can't believe this. Okafor and Embiid had big games for them. Persingas and Valanciunas, Durant and Bledsoe were nowhere to be found. 6 of 25 shooting. Ugly game for us. We lose 98-79. Game number three. We take that one. 117-101. Millsap, Okafor, and Embiid. Once again, big game for them, but we had five players in double figures. Once again, Stanley Johnson struggled from the floor, 4 of 11. On to game number five. We lose that one, 116 to 108. Durant and Przingis had decent games as well as Valanciunas, but Bledsoe struggled from the floor. They had seven players in double figures. I don't know how. On to game number six, and we come back and take that one, 113-103. Simmons had a decent line, but that's about it. Przingis, look at this. We had six players in double figures. Let's go on to game number seven. In Memphis, can we take it at home? Let's simulate right down to the fourth quarter. Let's see if we take this one. We're down early, but we come back in the fourth. Look at this comeback. Oh, my goodness. And we're going to take the NBA title, guys. And let's go right down into it. Let's go live from Memphis. Thanks. 
seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Now Peyton out to Porzingis. And the Memphis Grizzlies are your new NBA champions. Well, they did it. And as they celebrate, you can just see the relief, the exhilaration that comes from winning it all. You have to hand it to the entire organization. They work together to get right here. And guys, what a reward for the fan base. I mean, I know one thing. They're going to enjoy this memory for a long, long time. And we have enjoyed our time with you folks all season long. This is Kevin Harlan saying so long. Have a wonderful summer. So there you have it, guys. The Memphis Grizzlies are NBA champions. Your finals MVP is Kevin Durant, who had 26 points, 7.5 boards, 4.5 assists, 1.5 steals, and 1.5 blocks. Now, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below of what team you want to see me rebuild next. And now I will leave you guys with the ring ceremony. Just before the game, the championship rings distributed to the players by NBA Commissioner Adam Silver. And a proud moment indeed for this team and their fans. Way over. Well,